So let's work now on 8.1.6, create virtual hard disk. You have installed a Hyper-V on IT admin. You want to create two virtual machines on which you will later install Windows 11. These new VMs will be used for testing. All right, so you've been asked to install two virtual machines. Later on, you're going to install Windows 11 and they're going to be used for testing. So in this lab, your task is to create a new virtual machine, name it VM1. Okay, so let's start by opening Hyper-V. Double click on Hyper-V Manager. That's where we're going to create the virtual machine. As you can see here, if you make this bigger, and then you double click on IT Admin, there you go, you've got all the virtual machines that coexist over here. To create a new one, click on New, then click on Virtual Machine, double click on it, then from here you can start adding the parameters. So it says virtual machine name, it's VM1, capital VM1. Then it says virtual machine location, so check the location, okay, that's correct, we don't need to change anything. Move to next, then it says highlight generation one, which is highlighted. Next, then add the memory, which is 1024 megabytes. Next, it's external, so that we click over here and select external. Then it says virtual hard disk name. Okay, next, then the virtual hard disk name, it's VM1. That is correct. There's nothing to change. Check the location. That is also correct. And then we have to change the size to 50 gigabytes. Okay, so this is done. Then it says operating system will be installed later. So operate, install the operating system later. That is highlighted. Click finish. All right, so now you can see that your virtual machine is over here. The second task, create a new virtual machine, name it VM2 using the following parameters. All right, so let's do the same thing. Click on new virtual machine, click on next. The name, it's VM2. The location, it's the right location. Click on next, generation one. Next, it says the memory is 20, 48 megabytes. Then it says, pay attention to this, use dynamic memory. So click on here, use dynamic memory for this virtual machine. Next, it says, where are we? Okay, so it's internal. So let's click on internal, click on next. So the virtual hard disk name is VM2. That's correct. Check the location is also correct. Check the size, it needs to be 250, 250 gigabyte. So there you go. Then it says install this operating system later. So that's highlighted for you. Next and finish. All right, so you can see here you've got your second VM2. And now it says that you need to add the maximum and the minimum RAM. So to do that, highlight it. See if it allows me. My mouse sometimes gets stuck. Okay, now, so left click on your mouse, go to settings, click on memory, and then change the minimum to 512, and then the maximum to 496. So 512. 49, six. Yeah, that's correct. Click OK. And I think we're done with this. So in here, you've got a line that just say tells you again how to create a virtual machine. So obviously, you open Hyper-V Manager, you go to IT Admin, then you click on New. So it's just um, a bit of a revision. Okay, now let's score the lab. And it's 100.